Hello, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 8. We're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. So all we're doing to find the volume is multiplying those three numbers. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 12. Okay, 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 96, and don't forget your label. So you can either write cubic inches, or you can write inches cubed. Same thing. Okay, those are just two options. You don't do both, one or the other. Okay. All right. So, seven times six times two. So, seven times six is 42. And we're going to multiply that by two. Okay. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So 84, and we can either write cubic feet or we can write feet cubed. Okay? Either one, guys. Okay? All it means is that we multiply feet by feet by feet. There's three sets of feet there. Feet cubed. Okay? All right, so I want you guys to do four through six. All you're doing is multiplying the three sides. Make sure that you have your labels done. Okay, you can do your labels ahead of time. These are in centimeters, so you know it's going to be centimeters cubed. Okay, inches, feet, same thing. Okay, Aaron keeps his baseball cards in a cardboard box. It is 12 inches by 8 inches by 3 inches. What is the volume of the box? Okay, well, I know that 3 times 8 is 24, so I'm going to go 24 times 12. Okay. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Tick. Oop, tack, toe. And then 1 times 24. 8, 8, 2. So 288 inches cubed. Okay. Amanda's jewelry box is in the shape of a cube that has six inches. So six by six by six. Okay, so six times six is 36. So I just need to do 36 times six. Okay. So six times six, 36. There you go, three. Six times three is 18, plus three is 21. 216 inches cubed. Okay? Not so bad once you get used to it, guys. Okay? We're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we are going to go down and do the spiral review. So, you will notice that none of these sides match. That means that one side is going to tip the scale, so it will be a scaling. And you will notice it has that little box making it a right triangle. Okay. What quadrilateral always has four congruent angles and opposite sides that are congruent and parallel? Well, that could be a rectangle or it could be a square. Take your pick. You can just write one of them. You can write both of them. Suzanne is 64 inches tall. What is Suzanne's height in feet and inches? Okay, so she's 64 inches tall. Where 12 inches is one foot. Okay, so now inches, we're in feet, that's good. We are going to have some remainder. Okay, so we're going to do 64 divided by 12. Well, I know 12 is not going to go into 6, but I have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So that's 5. 5 times 12 was 60, subtract, get 4. So now I'm going to have 5 feet, 4 inches. 
That remainder is how many inches are left over. Okay. All right. Cover bought eight gallons of paint to paint his house. He used all but one quart. How many quarts of paint did Trevor use? Well, eight gallons when one gallon is four quarts. Okay. We're left in quarts. That's good. Eight times four is 32. And he used all but one. So if I just take away that one, 31. So 31 quarts. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 11.8. Come on back for 11.9. See you soon.